Hey everybody and welcome back to Cajun Country Living. This week, unfortunately for y'all, this is going to be the Jimbo Show most of this week because Lydia and ladley has gone up north to see some family, to see some relatives. So while they're gone, I'm going to try to make a push to get the entire loft floored. I know that's one of the jobs that she wasn't looking too forward to because it's really heavy. Everything's overhead and uh, it's going to be kind of a nightmare to do. So I'm going to try to get all that done before she gets back so I can surprise them when they get here. So right here, I've got a stack of three quarter inch marine grade plywood. And this stuff is extremely heavy. Also on top of this stack, you'll see I have a two by six and a two by four. I've already put one sheet up there. And let me tell you something, by yourself, this stuff, I don't know what it weighs, but it's wet because of the, uh, the treatment process to make it marine grade. But if you'll see right here, there's a section between that top wall and the edge of that plywood that doesn't have any support under it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an L shape with a two by six, and the gap between that plywood and the top of that wall is three and a half inches. And that is the exact same dimensions as a two by four on the four inch side. So I'm gonna make that piece and get that put in first, then we can start laying out to start putting in some of this plywood. So I just threw this little two by four block in there just to kind of show you, give you a representation of what I was talking about. That's gonna be the floor level. This is the top of the wall, and this is the block that's got to make up the difference. So you'll see when you pull it down, this plywood's got a little bit of a bow to it, but it should be perfect. I'm going to get this cut and get it put in. By the way, I'm cutting all this lumber in the house. And Lydia is absolutely going to kill me. She is constantly walking around vacuuming, sweeping, keeping all this stuff picked up. And I'm constantly going around making a mess. So she is absolutely going to have my hide when she gets home. So y'all stay tuned and see how that works out for me. So the first problem that I ran into today was whenever we laid these ceiling joists out, we laid them out on the outside ceiling joists. So we've doubled that, throwing this floor off about an inch and a half. So now to get this floor in right, to get it started out right, I'm gonna have to cut an inch and a half off the first sheet. That way it'll fall back and your two foot mark will be on centers. We have a ceiling joist on every 12 inch center. So it shouldn't be an issue after we get this first sheet, but this means every sheet that I start out with, I'm gonna have to reduce it by an inch and a half. That way it'll fall out on the rest of the ceiling joist. So not quite half of this room is done and it is so hot. I can't do it. I can't go on anymore. I'm gonna have to get out here tonight and try to do some more. But when I tell you it's hot, it is hot. I am soaking wet with sweat and it's been like that for hours. It is, this stuff is heavy and it's like an oven up here in this attic. 
or loft, whatever you want to call it. So I'll be checking back in with y'all after a while and let's see if we can get some more progress done tonight when it cools off. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Have you been struggling lately? Maybe you're having trouble sleeping, uh, difficulty with relationships, or suffering from low self-esteem. We know how easy it is to get overwhelmed in life. With all the things that we're juggling, it's so easy to fall into a slump. And if you feel like you're in the same boat as us, then today's sponsor, BetterHelp, wants to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that give you access to help that may not be available in your area. All you need to do is just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you'll get matched with a therapist in less than 48 hours. Then you schedule your secure video and phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. So join the 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the experienced BetterHelp therapist. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com backslash Cajun. This link is going to be listed in the description, getting y'all easy access to help. So y'all make sure to go ahead and hit that link in the description and thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and making such an impact in so many lives. Well, just as important it is to us that we do this house ourselves. Sometimes you have to come to the reality that some things you just can't do by yourself, or even two people can't do it by themselves. Putting this plywood up there, I know it seems like a real tiny chore, but this stuff was treated and it was still wet, and it weighed over 100 pounds a sheet. I mean, it was still soaking wet, and it was three quarters of an inch thick. Trying to put that in over that nine foot ceiling by myself, I was going to end up getting hurt. So while Lydia was gone, I decided to hire a crew. I just happened to have a friend that has a construction company. She just got home, and I'll have to fill her in later. Let's see her, what her reaction is to what we got done, which was a lot, by the way. Stay tuned. Hi. Hey. Hey. Well... Do you notice anything new? That's not a good reaction. The floor is clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I cleaned the floor. So do you notice anything yet? The rafters are about four times as strong as they were before. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks fantastic. Well, yeah. What do you think? We had a, a big issue with the weight distribution on the ceiling in the cathedral area because where our 30 by 40 foot porch is going to be is actually going to be weight bearing on this cathedral. So we were really, really worried about not having anything stronger up there. And Joanne, that looks like a lot of work. <laughs> hey, that's just the way I roll. Did good. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, it was a lot of work. I mean, but it was worth it to try to get all this done before you got home. <laughs> so now we have at least triple rafters on every rafter. That's gonna be in the cathedral. I don't know. Go look. Y'all, look. I can run around up here now. Oh my goodness. Gosh, you have a car back there too. What, all the way to the fireplace? 
all the way to the fireplace. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. So, spoiler alert, while you was gone, I hired Seth, Kenny, and Zach, and they came in here and helped me. I can't even really say help me because they came in here and just guns blazing. They came in here and was famming this stuff out while you were gone. They knocked out all of this stuff, put in all these extra rafters in. God, they did such an amazing job in a, such a short amount of time. Okay, so what did you do? Did you go fishing? Well, I don't Did know. Did you go boat riding? I can't really. It's, it's all foggy to me now. I can't hardly Tim remember. Wayne. It's been so long ago. It's been like a day ago. I can't oh remember all that. <laughs> I was wondering, because I thought, man, what I do during nap time doesn't even, isn't even a drop in the bucket for all this work. Okay, well, that uh, makes me feel a little better, I guess. Yeah, and to do all this, without making a mess. Why do you say it like that? Oh, no reason. No reason at all. It's, it looked like this the whole time. Did it? No. I didn't no. So. no, it did not. It was buckets of sawdust in here. It really oh, was. So. It was buckets. I swept it up by the buckets. But uh, it's done. We're ready to go. We got that step behind us. So right before I left, we got our phone call saying that this is the date that we are going to have our spray foam. So I knew that Jim was probably going to do a big project, but this big of a project? <laughs> yeah, well it had to be done and I knew that we were not going to be able to get this done in the time we need. And we still have some electrical, we still have some water lines to run, and uh, we're just going to be cutting it close getting that done. Wait, I did do something else. I forgot to tell you. Come check it out. Come look. I put in the tea. Huh? That's some good work right there. That's solid. Next time that you go to work, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a tea in and show you what I got done. Well, I'll tell you <laughs> what. That was the tea that we've been waiting for. That completed that yeah, project. <laughs> but, but look at what I did. I did a reroute right here. Check this out. So one of the things that I noticed was whenever we were in this PEX, we were running out of real estate and uh, someone in their comments said that we needed to be really careful on these lines rubbing together because of a chafing issue. So instead of running these lines over the top of them, I 90 it down and made a little loop around to go up through here. That way they wouldn't be rubbing on one another. And I even put a little piece of plumber's tape in there to hold it back into the spray foam whenever they shoot it. Well, ain't you just fancy? That's a lot of work. That was a lot of work went into this. Those guys thought they had it rough putting in those rafters. They should have put these fittings. <laughs> well, we really did get a lot done then while I was gone. <laughs> so how was your trip? It was really good. Uh, my dad owns a pizza place and I took a few clips for y'all because I don't know if you've ever seen something like this or not, but him and his wife own a pizza joint in Springfield, Illinois y'all everyone go it's La Piazza I'll put the link in the description but they actually imported an oven from Italy and it gets 1100 degrees so you can like actually put an olive in this oven and you leave it for I'm not playing with you two seconds and you can poke it and poof it's ash two seconds two seconds they, they cooks a pizza in under a minute a well, whole pizza. That sounds like a microwave. <laughs> my dad would have his feelings hurt if you told him that. Hey, my his pizza place uses a microwave for their <laughs> pizzas. <laughs> hey, my dad has a Cajun microwave. Anybody out there know what I'm talking about? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what a Cajun microwave is. What is that? A Cajun microwave? Uh-huh. It's a box built out of cypress with a metal insert in the top. You build the, you put the meat inside the box 
and you build a fire on top of it and it cooks the meat inside. Yeah. Would he be willing to let us try it? No, I don't know. Let's see. All right, well, y'all comment below and we'll ask George if he'll let us. Mm -hmm. Let us use the Cajun microwave. That's right. <laughs> it was a really great time. The only thing missing was you. Somebody's got to do all this work in this house. Yeah, Seth and Kenny and Zach. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess since all this work is done, do y'all know what that means? Time for a little fishing trip. Perfect. <laughs> we really don't have time to fish because we had this work to do. But, like y'all know, we work on nap time. So, there's not much work that we can get done whenever she's awake. So, just to break us back into being back in the south, you know, we better go on a fishing trip, huh? We need some more fittings. And we need some more wire. So we need to run get that anyway. And they might have that at the river. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Let's check it out. <laughs> 